Hello, I'm Yogi Stillness, and thank you for joining us. I'll be your guide in today's meditation. Today we'll be considering how to develop more compassion by softening our sense of self. We will begin sitting on the floor, a cushion, or in a chair. When you're ready, allow your eyes to close. And let's take three deep breaths together now. Start by taking a great big inhale and hold it and let it go with a full exhale. Take another deep breath in and pause, holding it and a full exhale. One more time. Inhale fully and pause. And let it all go on your last exhale. Bring your attention to your body now. And begin to notice any feelings on your skin. Focus on the sensation of the air against your skin. Notice how your sense of touch allows you to feel the border of your body. Start to visualize your outline, mentally tracing your skin around your body. Feeling the seat underneath you, your clothing against your skin, hair, glasses, jewelry, the air flowing over everything else. Imagine the shape your body creates. Now try to sense the area inside that you think of as self and the area beyond your skin that you perceive as not self. Contemplate the concept of self and non-self while focusing on the borders of your physical body for a short while in silence. Focus your thoughts on the body. Feel the skin where it's warm or cold. The sensations of your clothing against it. And the overall feeling of having a body. Then imagine your skin growing translucent and subtle. As if it were made of water. Imagine light passing through the body as it becomes more and more transparent. Imagine
imagine your sense of touch expanding beyond the body, like a drop of colored water dissipating into a larger body of water. As the borders of the body disappear, imagine there is no difference between yourself and the surrounding space. Continue visualizing yourself, dissolving into the space around you, silently for a few minutes. If your mind has drifted, bring your focus back by noticing the inhale and the exhale moving in and out of the body. One of the schools of Indian philosophy called non-dualism states that the whole universe is all one singular consciousness. But the universe appears to be made up of ourselves and a whole bunch of stuff that is not ourselves. Non-dualistic philosophy says that, in reality, underneath everything else we see, there is nothing that is not actually a part of ourselves. Other people, insects, nature, Everything that appears to be different in the whole universe is actually a part of the giant whole. All the things we see, in a way, are all part of ourselves. And in that sense, all things great and small deserve compassion. This beautiful concept of oneness with everything, however, can be very difficult to experience. From a young age, we realize that we must be able to say, I am, before we can really do anything else. But this, at times, can lead us to feeling lost on our own islands, secluded and lonely. Our sense of self is important to help us navigate our lives. It is our egos that enable us to feel, think, and act. But when we think that we are only individuals, we can feel isolated. It can also make us selfish, acting only for our own benefit. When our sense of concern extends as far as the edge of ourselves, we can trap ourselves in a habit of self-interest. But no human is truly on an island. We all coexist, whether we want to or not. This is why it is important to help friends, families, and loved ones through moments when they're feeling isolated. Instead of letting our ego be a tool for self-gratification, 
we can use our individual power for the collective good. By softening our sense of self and identity, we can care about others as if they were ourselves. Gandhi taught that it was impossible to do violence to another individual when we are aware that in reality we are all connected. Everything we see in this world around us exists within us as well. From anger and greed to love and compassion. The more we treat others with compassion, the more compassion we ultimately will feel towards ourselves. The more we get caught up in selfishness, the less mindful of others we will become. But the more we see ourselves in union with everyone and everything around us, the more empathy and compassion can grow within us and around us. In turbulent times, we can create small changes by being that light we wish to see reaching every corner of the universe. Come back into your body now. And take one last clearing breath in and hold it and let it out then allow your eyes to open thank you for showing up for your mindfulness practice today we are so grateful for this opportunity to support you in self-care and look forward to meeting here again tomorrow